Yeah. So very like so this is a very crucial game for both of them. Right. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Wow, yeah. immediate with a stand around house. Oh, oh no! Missed. I, I mean, you probably wanted strong. Might have might have planked it and gotten jabbed yeah. instead. Yeah. Very strong footsies mid-range button matchup. That's really what this is all about. Yeah, and both of these two are pretty much the best at footsies with their char respective characters. BR Balrog, best footsies with Balrog. Snake Eyes, best footsies with Zangief for sure. This neutral game right here, this is what we're talking about when we say footsies. Yeah, trying to control the mid-range game. Taking up space, taking up your opponent's options and time. And trying to get into an advantageous position like this. Oh, he went for it. Is wow. that in time? Yes, it is. Huge damage for PR Rog. Maximum damage in that situation. And now Rog has a lot of control. He has the corner. He's just a couple of fierces or whatever he wants to hit away from taking the round. Oh. Well, it's Snake not Eye, look at this, yet, look yeah. this challenge. He wants that EXM. Yeah, and he, he wants it. Oh, oh, he didn't he, get it. Yeah, he wiggled. You saw it. He, he didn't wanted get it. to go for it. <laughs> EXM would have been invincible and would have gotten him through. Yeah, but when you saw PR Rog jump away from the sp spinning pile driver and punish with Ultra, that's just something that a lot of people miss. Like, they know they want to escape, and when they escape, they don't have a counter option. But PR Rog had that in mind the whole entire time, and that's how he won that round. Ooh, he's in. Is he going to use it? Yes. Why not? Get him into the corner. Go for the setup. Okay, delayed wake up. Wow. Again, again. same thing. Just had it in mind right away. And even though that was early because the Ultra hadn't built up very far, it's that corner carry that's super important about it. Ooh, Ooh. he's looking for super. Yeah. As he walks back and he presses that button, he's just inputting the super, and if it hits, he'll get it. Yeah, but the problem is if he's at close enough that, that if he blocks it, it would come out, that's why it didn't come out that time, because I think Zang was a little too close. Oh, he tried to get in there. Yeah, beautiful, just use the super to finish the job. There you go, PR Rog taking the first game. Yeah, you're right about how crucial this is. If Snake Eyes wins, he's four and two and pretty likely to make it into the next round. And if PR Rog loses, he's two and four. Did I say wins? If Snake Eyes wins, then he's pretty likely to make it through to the next round. Right. If PR Rog loses, he's pretty unlikely. Mm -hmm. Whereas if the opposite result happens, who knows? They're both three and three. Yeah, exactly. They could both make it in they if both they win could. their last games. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, after so Momochi and Tokido are pretty much set for the next round, which means two. Okay. Two out of the possible four spots right. in this group are basically locked up. And Shen is at four and one, so he's, he's sitting pretty. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. So, so for, that, for that last spot, there's a big battle. <laughs> <laughs> if these two fight each other and they end up tied, they may even have to play a tiebreaker between them. But there is a, a, a record also kept of how many games they're winning and rounds and stuff. So that, that is a tiebreaker factor as well. Nice. Lots of greatly timed buttons. <laughs> this is the match that could, it could be rough for Rog if he gets knocked down, because Zangief has a lot of great options. But in this mid-range, I do feel like Rog has an advantage in it. He has great mobility, his buttons have nice range. Oh, no, EX green hand after that stands short. Wasn't confident it was going to whiff punish. Oh, nice. Taking advantage of the, quote, nerf to the light green hand. Right. Oh, and that time it pays off. I mean, that's pretty risky because that's twice now that PR Rog has jumped away from the SPD and punished it big. But see, this is what I mean. Even if though they discourage you from doing it, you got to keep using it. Otherwise, they know they shut that option away and they never have to worry about it again. That's why that grab worked. Yep. Because Rog wasn't looking for it. He thought yep. he'd already taught Snake Eyes not to do it. Exactly. Oh, you see him just bulldogging it forward. I love it. Oh, yes. Just spend the meter again, like you said. Take him close to the corner. What's the setup? Nice block. Oh, the jump away. Oh, okay. baited it out. And he always uses that, the, the 360 plus kick, so he puts himself into the corner so he can oh. get the cross up. One more. Oh, there we go in the ultra. That was a big risk. If that had been blocked, yeah, Snake Eyes would have got the punish, and that was, that was the game. Yeah, but but now it's, PR Rog trying to give himself a chance there. And he even stays close. Another risk to take. But he has to make risks. To oh, back. oh, no. Okay. Yeah, a little. Staying a little too still there. And that was the perfect opportunity for Snake Eyes to use one of his most well-known tricks, that whiff crouch forward. 
you see the crouch forward, you freeze because you're like, oh, I need to block this move, and then it doesn't hit you, and somehow he's in range for SPD afterwards. Is he going to Evil Ryu, maybe? That's that's the other option? Okay. No. I'm, glad, I'm glad he didn't. I, yeah, I feel yeah. like his Rog does a better job against Geef than Evil Ryu <laughs> does. Good choice. A matchup he's been playing for... How long has this game been out? Six years? Six and a half years? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's changed a little bit, but uh, not hugely. This particular matchup, you mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, especially Super and later. It's been basically the same. Well, not close enough for that stand roundhouse, stand short, Link. Ooh, ooh, great whiff punish. Oh, he tried to get in there with that stand roundhouse, but great. Ooh, just a little too far for the SPD. Wow, trying to build a little meter. You see Rog crouching a lot at that range. Yeah. That's that's so he can bring out dash punch. Yeah, you have to charge for it. But also, if he were to jump at that range, he could get anti air headbutt. Yeah, that's one of the hardest things about playing a charge character like Balrog. You feel like you got to be charged at all times. But honestly, if you want to play him at the highest levels, you've got to know to let go and just go in. Right. Oh, nice. Oh, no, he oh, missed no. it. Yeah, he had that combo afterwards, but drops that link after the FADC. That's a big whiff for him. Oh, but he's got the life lead, that little stab. Oh, yeah? Oh, he just gets a little extra damage with that meter. Oh, and he doesn't bring out Pile Driver. Yeah, he wasn't positive. Oh, risky focus. I mean, he wasn't going to die for sure, but... Great block, especially after that EX overhead previous game. Oh, he, he did it! Chip him. He oh. tried to chip him, but it didn't chip! If that had been EX hand, not regular hand, yeah. maybe it would have worked. But not jab green hand. There is not enough damage on the chip. Right. Maybe even fierce. I don't know. But not jab. So that was a costly error. He had not a big lead, but he had a lead. And now it's match point for PR Rog. Yeah, I mean, Snake Eyes is usually really good at measuring whether or not a jab green hand will kill yeah. on chip or hit. So he saves his meter. This time wasn't the case. Miscalculated just by like 10 hit points. Ah, this dance. Nice. He has not been able to get in with that stand roundhouse at all. Oh, here we go. He's in. Well, got, got a little bit out of it. Oh, in the super. Big lead now for PR Balrog. Has all the spacing he needs. Oh, oh he just I love it. I love it. Not quite dead, but very yeah, close. Yeah, that's it right there. Oh, oh, and he goes for the fuzzy garden. What a jerk. <laughs> oh, that was, that was great. And there it is. What good control. So three, now three and three. Three for both players. And exactly. who knows what's going to happen. Yeah, both of these two are also the only uh, U.S. players at the Master Series earlier this year in Canada. And they both placed really well. It was uh, fourth, and I believe Snake Eyes was third or fifth. It was one of those two. They were, right, they were both right in the middle, so... All right. So we're going to switch over to the other group, Group B, where Ricky Ortiz, who you see sitting there, is going to play against Gamer B. That's right. Maybe we're going to for Ricky. I'm not sure. We'll see. That's who she's been going with all weekend long. You're, so. you're right. Yeah. Yeah. 